Yo guys, Kieran Needley here. Welcome to episode five of Beginner Lifters. Today we're gonna to do shoulders. It's going to be, again, four total exercises and 14 total sets. Let's do it. Everything changes. All right guys, so for shoulder day, we're gonna, the first exercise is shoulder press. It's a fundamental of your shoulder, ex, um, it should be the fundamental of your shoulder exercises. Um, so what you're doing is we're going dumbbells for this one. Uh, the big thing with the dumbbells and when you're doing overhead presses, is to make sure that your elbows aren't completely flared out. Yes, you're gonna get more activation on your lateral head, which you'll probably see in some videos, but the biggest thing with that is you're going to create friction uh, something that you don't want to do, you create friction around your shoulder joint, so around your glenoid uh, cavity, which is your um, which is your shoulder blade. So you're going to create traction around there and your upper arm bone, your humerus. Something you don't want to do because that can later cause problems. So what you want to do with the, any overhead presses is make sure your elbows are slightly in front in front of you, so that you create room around your shoulder joint, your forward socket joint, so that you can get completely overhead. Um, so that's one. That's the biggest thing. So with this one, we want to keep our shoulders back, our, our lats, the muscles running underneath. Our armpits activated and you're pressing above and meeting in the middle at the top. So I'll show you with the dumbbells. So down by your ears, you don't need to go any lower than that. Keeping your elbows slightly in front of you, only just a little bit. Keeping your chest up, your shoulders back. And then we're pressing to meet at the top. A little tip once again, just like with um, our chest exercises, if you really want to make sure that you're not coming up <laughs> like unevenly or anything like that, um, and then getting the little deep on right, which is the last thing we want, is to make sure that you meet in the middle at the top and then come all the way down. So again, we're doing one second contraction, so one second up, three seconds down, eight to ten reps, four rounds, one minute rest. So the next exercise is lateral flies or more side flies. So what we're doing is you're keeping the dumbbell just slightly in front of your body, getting a slight forward lean because that's going to create more activation around the lateral head opposed to the, um, the front out and that's what we want. Make sure your shoulders are retracted and what we're doing is something that you might see and um, might not see in different videos. Um, something that I was recommended by a video is that make sure you go for external rotation. So making sure that the dumbbell are coming back from the front and then you're retracting at the top. So what this is going to do is you're trying to shorten the lateral head. So I just quickly took my jump rope so I can show you. But you're trying to shorten the lateral head if you can see that. It's a, a not really great lighting. But, but basically this muscle here, the side delt, you're trying to create the most you're trying to shorten that muscle as much as possible. So to do that, again, what you're doing is you're getting that slight 10 degree forward lean, and then you're bringing the dumbbell slightly back behind you, and again, that's gonna create the most contraction around that muscle. So make sure you've got a slight bend in your elbow when you do this, and make sure that you're pulling using the elbow, not using the wrist, because this is gonna create the optimal contraction in the muscle as well. So slightly, slightly forward, then you're coming up, and down, and up, and then down. Something I have noticed a lot of people do is they will try raise their pinky up and go right back like this. I mean, that is going to create great contraction and don't get me wrong, that's an amazing, amazing exercise. I used to do it all the time, but for me, it caused shoulder problems uh, down the line. And that's the last thing that you want when you come to exercise, right? Because this exercise is meant to benefit you, not harm you. So make sure that you get external rotation at the top because that's going to create room around that shoulder joint so that it opens up. So that's what you want to aim for when doing your lateral flies a little bit of external rotation rather than coming up and pronating your shoulder. So that's that exercise, we're going for 10 to 12 reps. We're doing four rounds, one minute rest. Sorry for the loud noise guys, I'm just underneath the speaker. But what you want to do, for this one is this cable face pull. So we're doing between 10 to 12 reps, three rounds, one minute rest between each round. Attention members again, oh. just a reminder that we will be closing in 10 minutes. If you are still working out, can you please finish off your workouts and place any equipment you may be using away. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so again, the cable face pulls, one minute rest between each round. So what you want to do for the cable face pulls, get a cable around about shoulder height, you're going to get the rope, and you're going to hold an inward grip, like this. You're going to get full extension, making your shoulders and retract, your chest is up, and you're squeezing your shoulders back, bringing your hands to above your ears if you can, making sure, you're, sure your elbows are flared, so we're not doing a bicep movement, remember it's a shoulder movement, keeping your elbows completely flared. So, bringing the cable up, and then releasing. So one second up, three seconds down. Um, so again, 10 to 12 reps, three rounds, one minute rest. 
All right, that's the third exercise. Let's get to the fourth. All right, so the next exercise is a barbell military press standing. So what you want to do is get to a, get a barbell, maybe possibly on a rack if you can, uh, just a lot safer. And what you're going to do is when you hold the barbell, it's going to be just outside shoulder width. Your elbows are going to be tucked underneath you, and you're going to extend above your head and push your head all the way through. And then with three seconds down, remember one second up, three seconds down, making sure you're not using your legs for the movement, we're just using the shoulders, making sure that you're tight, you've got tight glutes, so that you're, so that you're stable through the core and stable through the movement. So grabbing the, um, grabbing the barbell just outside shoulder width, preferably with weight if you can, we're going between uh, eight to ten reps for four rounds, and just making sure that at the top you have full extension, it comes through, and then you're lowering the bar. So that's the overhead press and that's also the shoulder workout done. If you enjoyed this, do subscribe to this channel, like this video as well. Um, we've got episode 5 coming out next which is arms, so I really hope that you enjoyed this workout. I hope it was informative, I hope this helped you guys out. Once again, that is Shoulders 101 for beginners. Hope you guys take care, stay safe guys, stay healthy, have a good one, cheers.